now. <laughs> there are now. Greetings everyone. Honestly, I don't just know who is like me, you know. But I am just going to be doing this. Um, everyone should forgive me, including my mister. Look at this. I am going to next right away. My hobby got me this. We actually went to Middlesbrough shopping in three days ago. What took us to Middlesbrough? We went to return something I bought for him. He didn't like it. So he decided to return it and take another stuff, you know, and take a different one. So we went into next. He found this corporate trouser for Sister T. Where anyway, do they go work? <laughs> I work, but we don't use corporate trousers. Look at that. It has a slit by the side. <laughs> And it's quite beautiful. I've tried it. It's my size. He said he liked it. He likes it. <laughs> and this man, he took it. He was looking for a top to match it. He didn't see any top. Me, I was boiling inside of me. You know why I was boiling? I have nowhere to go wearing this, honestly. I am not a lecturer yet. I don't work in, I don't work in the bank. Sorry. I don't work in the bank, you know. So... Even if I start wearing corporates, I know it's a time to come. As if it was a corporate top, good and fine. I can wear it and film, isn't it? Yeah, so I know someone might be wondering, why didn't I tell him that I don't like it? <laughs> or ask him not to buy this. When I put to bed, so, so when I had some too, my Adane came for Omugwa in Lagos. My husband bought me one top from his workplace, one of his colleagues brought this stuff and it was quite expensive. So I complained. My Adane drew my ears and said, never you complain anytime your husband buys you something, especially ways. Because if you keep complaining, especially about the price and this, he will stop buying, you know. So that was exactly what was ringing in my mind on that day. I wanted to say, no, don't buy this, don't buy this. Oh my God, I was just fuming inside of me. You know what I did? As he was about to pay you for this, Piam, immediately he paid. They printed out the receipt. I grabbed it from the lady. <laughs> because I had in mind, I already planned that I would take it back. Yes. And the problem now is, when we returned that item I bought for my husband from TK Mass, do you know the way they refunded me the money? They asked me to use my card. So I swapped, I, I swiped my card and the money entered back into my account. Now, if I should go return this, they will ask me for the card my husband used to pay for it. I planned stealing his card, but then it wouldn't work because if I if I had taken his card, honestly, the money would go back to his account and he would see the the refund. Yeah, he would know that something has happened. Then I will be I'll be left to answer query afterwards. So now I think what I have to do now is to go back there, take the receipt, collect something else, even if it is for some to. Yes, because Sumto doesn't really have, uh, I want to buy him a correct, you know, school shoes. I need to buy him authentic and you know next now, a quality shop. So I can change it. I don't even mind adding more money, but I know that the shoes I saw there, they were really okay. You know, I will make sure that I buy something that is up to this amount. I, I still have the receipt. I think they have about one month for you to return their return direction. Where is the receipt? <laughs> we strong not be small all right so from the receipt so far i can return this within 28 days of purchase yeah so it's been like three days and this is the perfect day for me to return this because my husband just left for work he resumes at 12 yeah it's about five minutes to 12 or thereabout you know so and it's sunday today and as from next week he's going to be on one week holiday i can't just disappear in the house <laughs> well sorry about that so this is the perfect moment for me to run to Middlesbrough I know it's a bit far it will take me about maybe we'll spend about two hours going and coming back not on the transport I mean looking around next and uh, buying some things and uh, I will also share with you in this video if I still pay transport for some to who is seven plus yes especially during the holiday yes so keep watching <laughs> Yeah, we're getting on this one. What do you think, something? Yeah. <laughs> um, where's my... Somebody is coming off. Yeah, yeah you go first. Yeah, mm -hmm. sit up there. Yeah.
All right, so today I'm traveling with my little one who is age seven plus and uh, it's summer holiday, so I do not have to pay for his bus ticket. It's free for children under the ages of 11 anywhere in the UK. But particularly in London, children from five to 10 years, that's children under the age of 11, they can travel free at any time on London's buses and trams without a ticket. They can also travel free at any time on the tube, London Underground, the Docklands, right, you know, light railway when they are traveling with an adult who has a valid ticket. So it is quite fantastic because children, they travel for free. If your child is um, less than five, you don't have to pay ticket at all times. So if you are arriving in the UK, you have a family of three, four, I would also advise you always get the family ticket because it's way cheaper. Um, a single ticket for an adult is £4.80, assuming you and your husband and your two children are traveling. Instead of getting £4.80 times four, which is almost £20 plus, you'll be paying around £10 plus. You see to that. So always ask for a family ticket and another um, thing I want to advise is this, always buy a day pass ticket. Yes, day pass saves you more money. With a day pass, which is £4.80, you can get on four or five different buses. Hence, it's of the same company. But if you keep buying a single ticket, we made that mistake when we were new. Single ticket might cost £2.70, £2.50. Then if you jump on four buses, calculate £2.50 times four. That's almost £20, but this is what you should have been paying £4.80 to jump on four, six buses in a day, you know. So this is just um, my little tips. Yes, basically we suffered it when we came. We didn't know until about a month when we have spent a lot of money on this. All right, so right now we arrived next in Middlesbrough, going in there to see <laughs> what we have to, you know, get exchanged for some to. Yep. Come back. You feel okay? Do you feel okay on it? I have to br bring it out. Remove it. Yeah, I don't work in the office. I'm not wearing it to nowhere. So. Are you working from home? Uh, yeah. Oh, so okay. I don't need that. That's the dream. That's yeah. the dream. I don't need a corporate process. I did it for a short time during like the COVID, you know, yeah. like uh, lockdown and stuff. Not here, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, better I it. it's, it's better I keep something I can use, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, I hear you. Well, kids' school stuff is definitely yes. something that's going to be used, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's that time of year where everyone's trying to get up inside before they go back. Sure. Have you been okay with your sizing and stuff, school? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you try this on. Yeah. Good. Come now. Be <laughs> one now. <laughs> Come join us, enjoy our Sunday rice. <laughs> My person chop. Hey, hunger don't fire me. Finish. No place like home. Or, honestly, buying something to eat here, you end up buying chips and chicken, chips and chicken, chips. There's no meal you buy that wouldn't go with chips. If it's not going with chips, it's coming with burger all the time. Though some to have snack and uh, drink, but for me, no, no. Especially the wash weight, you can't eat anyhow. <laughs> it's just a small portion of jello fries, though. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, food is life. Anyone that says food is not life, oh yeah, let the person start fasting forever and ever. <laughs> hey, God. I had a very long day, honestly. I only had breakfast at 9 o'clock. It's past 4 p.m. I didn't realize I didn't drink water until I started feeling busy in Middlesbrough. Then I began to calculate. I said, God, I only had water after my breakfast. Three glasses of water in the morning and that was it. Until I just downloaded that food now. So guys, um, in exchange of um, the corporate trousers my husband bought for me, I got these shoes. Yep. This is a school shoes for Somto for next month, September. I got this for the price of £26. Look at that. You know, I decided to get him this. And I also got him two long, long sleeve shirts for school. 
um, 11 pounds. But if you go in ordinary shops, you can get this about four of this for 10 pounds. But because it's nest, you know, their things are expensive, and I don't want to collect my money back. So 26 pounds, 11 pounds, I still have change from the amount he bought me the trousers. I decided to take a pocket perfume, you know. So when I took this, I had to balance them four pound, four pound. That was what I balanced because I didn't want a situation where I would say, eh, give me change. No, give me money, cash back. No, you know, I don't know the return policy where you are staying in Nigeria. Can you, I mean, in my country, I don't know how long it takes for you to return anything. Do you ever return them? So this was one of the shirts. This is Nest. We bought this shirt for Sumto two days ago when they are for shopping for eight years old. Sumto is growing quite tall and uh, huge. And <laughs> you're laughing. It's your rice. I got him this jean. Sorry. He has skinny jean for him the same day. You know. So that was it. I made a good use of the money for my own understanding because if i didn't go for this that trouser would have been there in my bag i might end up giving it out to the charity to be honest it's not as if i don't need wears i do but i know where to get my things yes i like buying from the charity shop thrift it's not as if i don't buy new stuff i do when they are on sales you can as well buy them at affordable rates yes so this is basically what i do to go buy one trouser almost 40 pounds <laughs> I won't want to throw that at home. Did you hear when the cashier was even saying that it doesn't make sense keeping it? Hence, I work from home. Basically, I work from home. Yes, I don't go to any office. Yeah, my work will have a different uniform. So, these are all I got. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate your time. Leave your questions if you have any questions about the UK. Okay, thank you so much for always following my vlogs. Love you. Thanks a million. Bye for now. Something you saying bye. Subscribe. Are you sure? Have you said thank you for watching mommy's videos?